Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to find out the largest eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector of a 3 cross 3 matrix very easily using the mode 6 matrix mode of this Casio FX 901 ES calculator. So let's start. So here is our ma matrix A, a 3 cross 3 matrix. So let's proceed to our solution. Let the initial eigenvector be 0, 0, 001 equals to x0. So A into x0 equals to A, our original matrix, into x0 equals to 2 minus 1, 5. The multiplication process is 1 into 0 plus minus 3 into 0 plus 2 into 1 equals to 2. Similarly, 4 into 0 plus 4 into 0 plus minus 1 into pl plus 1 equals to minus 1. And 6 into 0 plus 3 into 0 plus 5 into 1 equals to 5. And now, we will take out the numerically largest value in this matrix. So, numerically largest value is 5. 5 is taken out and all the numbers are divided by 5. So, 2 divided by 5 equals to 0.4 minus 1 divided by 5 equals to minus 0.2 and 5 divided by 5 equals to 1. And this will become our x1 value. Our next eigenvector. So, a into x1 equals to a into x1. Again same process, 1 into 0 0.4 plus minus 3 into minus 0 0.2 plus 2 into plus 1, which is equals to 3. 4 into 0 0.4 plus 4 into minus 0 0.2 plus minus 1 into plus 1, which is minus 0 0.2. And 6 into 0 0.4 plus 3 into minus 0 0.2 plus 5 into 1, which is 0 0.68. And numerically largest value is 6.8, which will be taken out and all the numbers are divided by 6.8. So that becomes 3 divided by 6.8, 0 0.44 minus 0 0.2 divided by 6.8 equals to minus 0 0.02 and 6.8 divided by 6.8 equals to 1. And this will become our x2 value. Again same process, a into x2 equals to this. And numerically largest value is 7.5, which will be taken out and all the numbers will be divided by 7.5, which will become this. So this was the normal pen and paper method. And now I will tell you how to do it using your scientific calculator. For that, press the mode button, press 6 for matrix mode, 1 for matrix A, and 1 for 3 into 3 matrix. And now enter the matrix A into the calculator. To enter a number, type the number and press the equals to button. So 1, minus 3, 2, 4, 4, minus 1, 6, 3, 5. And press AC to clear the screen. And now we will enter the x1 value into the calculator as matrix B. So press shift and 4 for matrix, 1 for dimension and 2 for matrix B and 3 for 3 into 1 matrix and enter the x1 value 0.4 minus 0.2 and 1 press AC to clear screen and now we will multiply matrix A by matrix B so press shift and 4 press 3 for matrix A press the into button again shift and 4 for matrix and 4 for matrix B and press the equals to button. So a into x1 equals to 3 minus 0.2 and 6.8. And now we will divide our answer matrix by 6.8. So for that press shift 4 6 for matrix answer divided by 6.8 and press the equals to button. So which is 0.44 minus 0 0.02 and 1 and this will become our x2 value and the good part is for x2 you don't have to enter it again it is already stored in the matrix answer variable so now we will do matrix A into press 6 for matrix answer and press equals to so A into x2 becomes 
point six four and seven point double five and we will divide it by seven point double five so our answer is stored in matri matrix answer divide seven point double five and press equals to so it will become point three three point zero eight and one point zero zero or one so this will become our x3 value so isn't it very easy doing using our scientific calculator so this was only the preview of the matrix mode of this calculator what this calculator can do i have uploaded videos on each of the eight modes of this calculator mode one computational mode mode two complex number mode mode three statistic mode mode four number system mode mode 5 equation solver mode mode 6 matrix mode mode 7 table generator mode and mode 8 vector algebra mode of this calculator you can get all my calculator videos and many other math videos on my youtube channel the link to my channel is given at the end of the video so our question is when will you stop our iteration or calculation we will stop our calculation or iterations when we will get exactly the same value or almost equal to values in two successive iterations you see in iteration 9 and iteration 10 we got exactly the same value 7.00 as eigenvalue and the same value for eigenvector also so we can say our largest eigenvalue is 7 and corresponding eigenvector is 0 0.30 0 0.06 and 1 so friends this was my video on eigenvalues and eigenvector using your fx and on es calculator do you know you can do permutation combination factorial calculation integration differentiation summation random number generation in computational mode you can do addition subtraction multiplication conjugate of a complex number polar to rectangular rectangular to polar conversion in complex number mode in statistics mode you can find out mean median mode standard deviation correlation coefficient etc and in number system mode you can do convert between binary, octal, hexadecimal and decimal. Also you can do logical operations like AND, OR, XOR, XNOR, NOT etc. Once complement, twos complement. And in equation solver mode you can solve system of two simultaneous equations, system of three simultaneous equations and quadratic equations, cubic polynomial equations in equation mode. And in matrix mode you can do addition, multiplication, subtraction of matrices and find out transpose inverse of a matrix. In table generator mode, you can enter a function of x or f of x and enter the start and the end value of the function and it will calculate all the values in the function which are used to graph a function. Also in vector mode, you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, dot product, cost products of vectors. So you can watch all my calculator videos and many other math videos using scientific calculator like this one on my YouTube channel. So friends, this was my tutorial. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. That will encourage me to make new videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing has many benefits. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Also, by subscribing, you can be in my top 100 list of top fans. So don't miss that out. I have seen many of my viewers just simply watch the video and pass by. Please don't do that. Do like the video and subscribe to the video and share in the comments about your feelings about the video. Your love and appreciation really encourages me to find out new tips and tricks every day and make videos on that. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video and stay connected.